Hello, my name's Andrew Montague and I'm Chief Executive of the Central Coast Local Health District. I'd like to welcome you to the Central Coast. We're a health service where the opportunities are enormous. Our strategy here on the coast is caring for the coast. It really embeds and embraces everything that we do. There are five key areas that are part of the Caring for the Coast strategy. Our first priority is caring for our patients. We want to provide high quality care to the people of the Central Coast. Our second priority is caring for our staff. You're our most important asset. Our third priority is caring for our community. We want to ensure that the community of the Central Coast is both healthy and vibrant. Our fourth priority is caring for our resources. This includes our budget, our equipment and our infrastructure. Our fifth priority is caring for the future. There's a lot of really exciting things going on on the coast. This is not just in buildings, but in research and education as well. And I think it's a great opportunity for you to get involved in these things. It really is exciting to have you here with us. We care for our patients, we care for our staff, we care for each other, and that means that we care for you. We do some really great things providing healthcare on the Central Coast. So how do we go about caring for the coast? Let's take a look. My name's Stephen Donaldson. I'm a patient that was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic lymphoma. Steve, in um, late 2012, just before, four days before Christmas, we got the phone call that Steve had the lymphoma, um, which really rattled the family and, you know, especially Steve. And from that day on, even to today, um, the hospital's become like a family to us because everybody, everything was done very professionally, but not just professionally, very caring as well. The staff made it a lot easier as in just communicating with me, like just instead of just doing their job, they were in there worrying about like how I was, what I did. Those two male nurses that um, I got on really well with. Steve had about 16 lymphoma lumps in his neck. Basically, they gone. He had a big one on his head and that had gone. And um, the day before Good Friday at um, March, basically Campbell said, they're all gone, his body's clear of the lymphoma. So everyone from the cleaner right through to the CEO, I uh, just got to give praise to, they were just a, a terrific place. And for them to be like that, it must be a good place to work for. I'm Damon Shorter, I'm a general paediatrician. I've been here since I was an intern, because I always thought it was a great place to live and work. The thing about paediatrics is you don't just care for the kids, you care for their families as well. We have the nicest job looking after the friendliest, happiest little kids. Whenever we see one person get well, that you've made a difference to that one person. You add it all up and over the course of your career, you hopefully do a lot of good. And that's the sort of excellent outcome that, that makes all those years of training worthwhile. Hi, I'm Erin. I am an acting senior physio here at Central Coast Local Health. I've been working here for about two years now and I love it. So our new grad physios come fresh out of uni and so my role at the moment is supervising them in um, high dependency and uh, the surgical wards. Uh, my first few weeks were exhausting because I was commuting from Sydney to the coast every day and then I realised that I could move up here, live on the beach. I think caring for a patient is a huge role. Basically just the understanding that they're a person like any, like any member of your family. It's such a fun place to work and just have a great time but at the same time really looking after the patients and trying to get what's best for them. Well, we Rehabilitation is a 30-bed unit and we provide holistic care for our patients with our allied health team, nursing staff. We have a geriatrician on staff, speech pathologist. We care for our patients as we'd like to be cared for ourselves, how we'd like to see our friends and family cared for. You know, we're always part of a community as well and we love to have that community environment to also help nurture our patients. So the most rewarding part of this job is actually seeing the patients come in non-weight bearing, not walking, and actually walk out with their families and friends. Hi, my name's Sean. I manage the Carer Support Unit. So Top 5 is actually a, a, a tool, it's one of the Caring for the Coast tools, and it's our way of personalising our care to our patients. We use the Top 5 strategy form to write down those strategies that tell us what's important to the patient, what do they need us to do, um, and how it will improve care and safety to that patient. An example, 
a gentleman called George. He was a little paranoid, especially in regard to taking medications. He was frightened that those medications, given in our little plastic cups, were actually somebody else's medication. His carer spoke to staff and said, look, George will take medication if it's on this little blue dish. He owns it, it's his plate. He knows that that's his medication. And that's the way that we can personalise our care and make sure that he takes his medication. On the Central Coast, we're really proud that Top 5 was developed here with an amazing group of staff that have really embraced this as a new idea, but a perfect way of personalising our care to patients. New staff working in this hospital, it's Gosford and Wyong Hospitals, can expect to be well educated, well supervised and well cared for. Hi, I'm Scott Forty. I'm an anaesthetist in this area. This area has such a sense of camaraderie amongst the doctors, something that was put to us by our senior mentors when we first came to the area. A lot of us and a lot of our trainees will look up to people who they'll trust. Now we understand the concept and we actually promote the concept and a lot of our junior staff actually will take up a mentor. We like to think of the Central Coast as being a community of doctors and patients and nurses, the whole lot where we look after each other. That's what this place is about. There are opportunities here to actually make the place better. My name is Kim and I'm an anaesthetic registrar at Gosford Hospital. Being new is always scary, it's always intimidating but everyone has a friendly face. There is an excellent teaching program for the junior doctors in the Central Coast. What you do notice about working in the Central Coast is there's a great focus on work-life balance and that makes coming to work a lot more fun too. When you come to work and you see your friends, everyone knows you by name. It just makes work a lot more fun. Caring for our community is one of our key strategic priorities with a vision of healthy people and a vibrant community. We are the biggest employer on the Central Coast, so most of our staff live in the community. We have great support from the people of the Central Coast in both fundraising and volunteering, which helps our services immensely. We work with the local council to ensure we have parks and cycleways so kids and families can get out and exercise. We work with the education department, for example, to make sure that kids have healthy food in their canteens and get into healthy behaviours early in life. We want to make sure our kids get immunised and reduce the risk of preventable diseases. We want to have control over tobacco sales and reduce rates of smoking. We want to reduce the consumption of alcohol and all of the negative effects that too much alcohol can lead to from a physical, mental and social perspective. Integrated care for the local health district through partnerships makes it easier for our patients to navigate the complexities of the health system. We've also developed a three-way partnership between ourselves, the Primary Health Network and the Aboriginal Medical Service to develop a plan and implement a plan for the Indigenous people of the coast. It really is vital that we close the gap. Hello, uh, my name is Caroline McMillan and I'm Vice-Chancellor at the University of Newcastle. Our work in health is at very much well above world standard. It's really excellent. We work with our partners in health, in health care, health practice, health delivery, to really ensure that that excellence translates. And we're absolutely delighted that the Commonwealth Government has uh, funded uh, $32.5 million and that the New South Wales State Government has provided $20 million and together with our $20 million as a university, that provides $72.5 million to build a health and medical research institute and also a medical and health school alongside the Gosford and Wyong Hospital development that will really take our education programs and research and innovation programs to that next level in the partnership. I'm Campbell Tiley. I'm a clinical haematologist here. I'm also the clinical director of medicine, director of cancer services. For me, the most valuable part of my role at the hospital is being able to make a difference in a variety of areas. Helping a patient uh, achieve the best quality of life they can, whether that's being able to, to provide a cure or a substantial remission, to a patient with an unpleasant uh, disorder. That's the most important part of my role. Our involvement in clinical trials and clinical research has helped enormously in bringing new treatments to the coast. One of the things I really like about working on the Central Coast 
is the team, the very supportive team that I work with here, and that's both within our service and across the other units in, in the health service. Hello, I'm Amanda Dawson. I'm currently the Acting Clinical Dean of the Teaching and Research Unit and my responsibility there is to help to look after, to support, to teach our medical students. Um, so we provide a thorough grounding uh, in medicine, surgery, obstetrics, um, psychiatry, paediatrics, in fact all of the, the specialties. In terms of uh, education, simulation is increasingly important. Um, it helps to provide a safe environment for our students. Going forward there's a lot more work now in terms of uh, interdisciplinary uh, teaching and simulation really does help a lot with that. The coast is just growing and developing so quickly, it's just this constant rate of change. I love working on the coast, I love caring for the coast. Um, I've been here now for about 14 years um, and wouldn't swap it. Hi, my name's Adam Chandler. I'm the Chief Radiation Therapist here at the Central Coast Cancer Centre. We have an ageing population here on the Central Coast and with an ageing population comes an increased incidence of cancer. With increasing demand for our services, we need more high quality staff up here. Centres like the Central Coast Cancer Centre attract staff up here for opportunity and the ability to work in an innovative environment. The machine behind me is a linear accelerator and it's responsible for delivering the radiation to patients for their cancer treatment. The machines are very sophisticated and it's really important that we engage in research and development and innovations to make sure we deliver the best healthcare to patients of the Central Coast into the future. Central Coast Local Health District is a lot more personal than what I've ever experienced before. There's opportunities to take on further responsibility here. It's a great place to raise a family and the lifestyle has a lot to offer. My name is Kate. I am a registered midwife. I work on the midwifery group practice and I've been here for about three years now. The best thing about working here for me is my current job, working with the families that I work with, but it's also a really warm and friendly place to work. I wanted to become a midwife because I wanted to work with families at a special time in their lives. So I wanted to work with families having kids. In about 10 weeks time I'm due to give birth to my baby and a really close colleague of mine is, is looking after me. So she's literally caring for my future and the future of my family. And I find that really quite cool that that's what I do as a job, but I'm also um, experiencing it as, as a patient, as a woman here at the hospital. Caring for the future to me means working with families who are having children. So it really does mean caring for the future of the coast, bringing new life into the world. And that's really exciting. Caring for the coast, caring for our patients, our staff, our community, our resources, our future. It is a great place to work. The future of the Central Coast depends on how we improve the health and well-being of the people in the community. We're a very busy health service. We have over 120,000 presentations to our emergency departments. We provide over a million occasions of service in the community. We perform over 26,000 operations in our surgical theatres. We have two major facilities at Wyong and Gosford. We have our subacute facilities at Woi Woi and Long Jetty. We have some great specialty facilities in our rehabilitation unit at Woi Woi and our cancer centre at Gosford. What I really find unique about the Central Coast is the people. There really is a great sense of community. The beaches, the rivers, the waterways, and the people. Everyone is passionate about the coast. They're passionate about their work, but they're also passionate about their lifestyle as well. I know that working in healthcare can be stressful, but it's important as an organisation that we look after our greatest asset, which is you, our staff. It's important that we provide you with ongoing education and development opportunities, but it's also important that we look after the emotional side and provide you with support when you need it. As your Chief Executive, I give you my commitment and we will support you. Welcome. 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 I'm excited about our future and I'm excited about your future. I look forward to being on the journey together with you in improving the health and well-being of our community.